love the channel and find it useful in becoming a happy retiree. Subscribe today. Good morning, welcome to Money Matters. And speaking of Amazon, as we are in the middle of talking about their grocery dominance, you heard the news, they're buying Whole Foods. Remember, the consumer in America is fine. Who serves the consumer is not. There is just this giant shift in how we get all the stuff that we consume in America. And it's become more and more customized and delivered to your door. And that has happened over the course of the last 20 years with Amazon. And you're seeing it uh, even more so today now that they're buying the hub, which will be their grocery hub, which of course <clears throat> will now become Whole Foods. So think of it, think of it this way, and I want, and I'll get back to this thought of the speed of light. But part, again, the reason we're able to do this is the internet has gotten to be amazingly fast. You go back to, or if you're still in rural America, by the way, and this is this is a, a cover story in the Wall Street Journal this week, which is it's kind of ironic that, that they, the the Wall Street Journal wrote about this is that we we are so used to what is getting data, internet. Uh, mo mobile uh, technology. We can do anything on our phones today that we it used to take a PC to do only about five years ago. It wasn't that long ago that you could just use your phone for everything. But today, for the most part, if you live in an urban area, you can pretty much just use your Samsung smartphone or your iPhone and do all everything you want to do. I ordered a pair of rainbow flip-flops yesterday because mine that I've had for 12 years finally broke. I did it right on my iPhone. So for most of us in this country, the internet is a, and it's an incredibly efficient place to do pretty much everything in the world. If you still live in the rural U.S., by the way, so out in the country on a sheep farm in Caledonia, Missouri, next to the Mark Twain National Forest, all right, 80 miles from St. Louis, if you're in the sticks and you're without high-speed internet, you, then you're actually left with satellite and, and dial-up, and that barely works. So 40% of the rural, the rural population, which is 23 million people in America, lack access to really, really fast internet. But 96% of the urban population, that's you and me listening, that's you listening right now, 96% of the urban uh, or suburban population has high-speed internet. That's let's call that the other 300 million people that live in America, that's who's driving all of this. That's 95% of you listening. You're driving this revolution of customer convenience, customization, specialization. And the fact that data and high-speed internet's available to so many of us, that's hitting the grocery business. So Amazon buys Whole Foods. Interestingly, I, I, can bear, I can't see... Jeff Bezos shopping anywhere else, by the way. You know that that's his favorite place, right? Jeff Bezos, where where else would he buy his organic chia seeds while using organic Wi-Fi on his iPhone? So investors, again, just annihilated stocks this week. They, they fled from grocery stores after the Whole Food announcement. Kroger, the biggest loss. Two billion just in one of, one of the days. Amazon gained that same day. $12 billion on Friday alone. So Kroger, let's talk about this. So Kroger's this massive company, still very profitable. They're going to earn $2 a share in 2017. Uh, they, they do about $120 billion in revenue of the $630 billion of the grocery store business. That's 20% of the grocery business. Whole, Food only, Whole Foods only does $16 billion in revenue. That's only 2.5% of the grocery business. And if you look at the last several years, their same store sales have been growing at about three to 6%. That's Kroger. But this week they announced, and this is the day before kind of the secondary blow that Amazon hit Kroger with, they announced their, really this, this is the first time we've seen this, two straight quarters of actually flat to falling sales. So all of this, this tornado of bad news is hitting Kroger and other grocery stores all at the same time. Kroger, massive, still very profitable. Still earning a couple bucks a share, $2 a share 2017. So they're not going out of business anytime soon, but they dropped a third in value just on Thursday and Friday because for the very first time in more than a decade, they're saying, hey, look, we're, we're not selling as much food as we were over the previous quarter. So falling same store sales 
for the very first time in a very long time. So instead of growing this year between 3 and 5% like Kroger has grown over the last decade, you're going to see a zero, a flat to 1% growth. Maybe maybe even slightly negative growth in the year, but, but it's, it's not like they're going out of business. But it still has investors very, very worried. Remember, it's not just about what a company earns and if a company is profitable, because they, that, no question that's still the case. It's all about growing profitability. It's about future growth. It's about the it's about the value of the of ca- of the future cash flow of organizations in America that trade in the S P five hundred or in on the New York Stock Exchange. That's what we're buying future growth, and that's the issue obviously that Kroger faces. So does Target. Twenty percent of their business is, is grocery. So does Walmart. So does Costco. Now, I do wonder if the reaction is va- vastly overdone this past week. It's not like Kroger and Publix and Albertsons and Target can't figure out a way to also deliver groceries like the, Wal- the, the Whole Foods Amazon merger. We t- we've talked about this. I used to also host a technology show in Atlanta called Atlanta Tech Edge years ago two, three, four years ago at this point. And I had a guest on the show from who was running the Atlanta division of a company called Instacart. And I, I, can, I can already use Instacart right now, still. And they're bigger than they've ever been to get my groceries delivered from Costco or Publix or Whole Foods or Kroger or Petco for that matter. Go ahead, download, download the Instacart app right now on your smartphone. And you don't have to go anywhere. You can get anything you want from all the stores that you love. Costco, Publix, Whole Foods, Kroger, Petco already. I can all I can all get that delivered like in the next two hours, right now. How about a how about a new app that I just downloaded called Shipt? S-H-I-P-T. Same thing. I can go shopping on my Shipt app, buy anything from peanut butter to bone-in ribeye steaks, and I'm gonna have it in my house in an hour or two. Or scheduled for tomorrow to arrive. So Kroger's already doing exactly what Amazon is doing with Whole Foods. They just haven't figured out how to tell the people about it yet. Hi, I'm Wes Moss, and thanks for taking a minute to hear about what's so different about my new book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. So unlike other retirement books, this book will give you a step-by-step guide, whether in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, to learn from what these successful and happy retirees did to get there. I hope you enjoy the book, but more importantly, I know that it'll help you retire sooner than you think.